So there have been a lot of issues surrounding opioid use disorders in Minnesota in general, um, especially disproportionately affecting our native people. And I was wondering if you were elected, do you have any plans to address, address the opioid crisis? Sure, well opioid uh, crisis and, and just drug uh, problems overall. You heard in the last debate about the, the declaration of Beltrami County being one of the high traffic uh, crime areas in the state uh, for drug trafficking. And we need to, to support our law enforcement. And we need to uh, also, uh, once we get the people, we need to address them uh, in, in a compassionate way and get them the help they need. Um, I, one of my bills I did introduce to address with the $17 billion surplus was to build mental health crisis centers, which, was also, which would also uh, include a lot of drug abuse uh, candidates as well, because we know that the, the root cause of a lot of people with mental health is d drug abuse. So if we can get them into some intervention uh, systems, and uh, that's something I did request funding to use some of the $17 billion of surplus that we had. Uh, didn't go anywhere, unfortunately, but that's the area that I'd like to focus in. Uh, my background is in drug prevention. Um, starting in 2010, and you're talking about the high rate of um, opiate use in the indigenous community. Um, as you can tell, 2B has two big, two of, the, two of the three largest indigenous communities within 2B. And so how has this been addressed? Um, it has not been addressed um, at all. And how can we address that is that you have to go to the state capital and you have to provide resources up here. There's a lot to opiate addiction. You know, it's just not <clears throat> somebody using constantly and saying, you know what, we're going to give up on them. It is not. Um, one of the things that was entered into a bill was a $24 million wellness center, which was allowed to three wellness centers, turned into three wellness centers on the Leech Lake Reservation. And that bill was co-signed by Mr. Bliss, but also voted against by Mr. Bliss when it came to voting. And so how do we change that is that we have to start at the youth and we have to provide these wellness and other changes so people have something else to do and somewhere else to go besides sitting in the streets or causing chaos at night. When you talk about opiate addiction, you know, there's, it's, it's very complex, it's community oriented. It's that we have to build stronger communities so that we all can face this. I, I personally have seen this in family and friends. I have seen people overdose. I have helped, you know, Narcan people, you know, CPR. And so this hits very home for me that a lot of this stuff is not being addressed. And how do we address it? You know, you have to take that step at the house, you know, at the house, but also come back into your communities. And how often do you see any house representatives in their community fighting this battle and standing up with it regardless of what party you are from? You know, addiction does not, you know, say Democrat, Republican, this is who we're attacking. It's everybody as a whole. And that's what here I'm gonna address and push for. Thank you. Thank you. Matt, do you have a rebuttal? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you.